Great line up there of the Herefords. Wonderful advert for the breed. And it's safe to say that, um, that the quality has just gone wonderfully up and they've got just a super, super display. And I think it says an awful lot for the enthusiasm that beef breeders have for the industry that we're in. And for those of you around the rings who probably haven't seen cattle in this um, pose before, you'll also appreciate the relationship that the human being has with the animals that they have in the ring today. And that runs right back down through the cattle at home as well. But I think that the quality and the numbers of cattle that you see before you today will just show you something of the confidence of the pedigree industry. First of our three days, they're all going to be sunny, they're all going to be warm, all going to be wonderful for showing cattle. Quite a few of these cattle will have been up at the Royal Highland Show a couple of weeks ago. that young bull class just now, uh, class number 23. Uh, the winner there was 159 from Master GT Bulmer, uh, Normanton Jupiter, bred by the bull Normanton Eastern Promise. In second place, number 158 from the Wilson's Herd, Roman bull, Roman Jackhound, bred by the home by the bull SMH Castro. In third place, number 164, which is J.A. Walker's Sixth and Jupiter by Mainstream of Colorado. And in fourth place, 160 from R and R.I. Shaw, born with Jethro by Sol. <laughs>
by to uh, regular cattle watchers here at the Great Yorkshire. This year, the interbreed is going to be judged by an individual, not by the overall set of judges. resurgence of our native breeds here at the Great Yorkshire Show. It's the 155th Yorkshire Show, but now as we're in the 21st century, we've got this complete um, upsurge now from our traditional breeds, and you've got all those breeds in the ring, ring now. somebody um, when there's a calf in the ring is that being judged the answer to that is no um, the calves are there purely because mum is there um, and mum wouldn't settle without her calf at foot so the calves come in too and in many cases those calves will be handled by young people getting themselves used to being in the ring showing cattle on Thursday we have um, in the morning we have some very good young handlers classes. I think they could be regarded practically as a national championship. We have very large, well-supported classes of young people uh, showing cattle. Competition sponsored by the Farmer's Guardian. Uh, it's always a great event if you are here on Thursday. The opening events starting at nine o'clock.
see in this weather are much cooler. They've got their white underbelly which is reflecting the heat back down all the time. Cyberspace um, by tonight, um, and people all over the world will be and some of them will be looking um, to see the various classes here at the Great Yorkshire Show. And the same people often film a lot of the big society sales, particularly those where some of the top animals are being sold. Um, we're now in the beef world in the ethereal price price levels of um, top bulls making in excess of twenty thousand pounds to YouTube and other social media methods. So it's just another aspect of beef production that we have in our war chest today to take on the big challenges of producing food in an ever more hungry world. because of that white underbelly, uh, because some of the darker breeds will always concentrate heat on their undersides in hot climates, coming off a, um, a sandy soil, whatever it might be, and that can damage their working parts. The others, um, the working parts of a bull, um, easily suffering from sunburn, yet the Hereford are uh, pretty resistant to that problem. So it always made them a very popular breed, 
um, in the hot climate, South America, South uh, Africa, Australia and so on. And certainly the biggest herds of Herefords you'll find in the world today will be in those original export countries. It's great to see one of our young handlers there coming out with the reserve championship, I think that is, in the Hereford breed. The girl who I've seen grow up over the last uh, 10 years or so handling cattle, she handled that heifer absolutely beautifully. So that's the Hereford today, they're playing a very important part. Uh, they've got a market link with um, Wakeways, who got the park, and they've also um, developed a, a niche with Marks and Spencers in marketing their beef. in the beef industry in this country. 